Just outside the safe zone, I thought we would talk to our wandering trader friend and buy a Barrett. That's that's how we uh, that's how we ease into today's episode is we buy a Barrett. There we go. We got the Barrett 50 cal gun. We have most of the legendary weapons at this point. Not all of them, though. Definitely not all of them. We're still missing a, a Valkyrie and a Crusher at the very least. Never mind a rocket launcher and. I know it's not a legendary weapon, but we also still don't have the grenade launcher, which uh, I I haven't really had much chance to play around with that one. And I think that one would be a stupid amount of fun. Anyway, we're going to head right back to base and we're going to go drop some of this stuff off and do a little bit of reorganization of things. Well, I am. Uh, you'll, you'll benefit from them. I'm, I'm not going to do all that on camera, but uh, I want to reorganize a few things. And then I don't know if we're going to do hordes or go somewhere else, but just the same. I wanted to come and kind of drop some of these things off so we can figure out what we're going to do with everything now. And we might end up, just because we can, we might end up swapping the Lechi out here. Let's see, where's the... That's the Colonel's Revenge. That's the Guardian Mag. That goes with that guy, I think. And then if I jump into... Oh man, I think it's going to be this guy here. There we go. There's the Lechi Mag. So we got an extra Lechi Mag, and then we got our Barret here with... Uh, we're going to have five magazines for this, and I've been, well, uh, I shouldn't say I, we have been selling them like crazy, the magazines, so we actually have quite a few. Uh, the next order of business is to go through and reorganize some of this stuff, so I'm going to do that, and I will join you on the flip side of making things a little less messy in here. The short version is I moved a few things around. We have another box over here that uh, I guess really I hadn't even thought about it here. Let's just because I can, let's put this guy in here and then uh, we'll stack those up because we don't need to have them around anymore. Just to kind of quickly show you, I moved backpacks around a little bit. So I, the Spec Ops backpack we were using, we now still have on us just in a different orientation because it's inside the smaller guy. I got rid of all of the other nested backpacks in there because I didn't care. Keycard briefcase still here. We might maybe carry a second one now. I don't know. And then you can see some of the random tools and things are in here. So it's all kind of good stuff. Basically, we kind of put ourselves in a situation where it's a little easier to be able to carry some of these things. And yes, I realized that I had the uh, Wichima who's at the fire axe. Actually, you know what? Thinking about it now, we shouldn't even have the fire axe. There's no reason to have that anymore. We got a katana. We'll put this guy in here just so that we have the tool in case we have want or need of it. And now we need to do a little construction. So it's kind of a shame that we don't have any of the other materials yet in the modular building because uh, that's really kind of what we need to do is we need to do some modular building. I guess what we'll do in terms of that is do... Uh, let's see, we probably need to do like four of these guys. I honestly didn't even stop to check and make sure that we have all of the stuff we need for this. I just kind of assumed we did, uh, mainly nails, I guess would be what I'm thinking of, that I didn't make sure we have everything we need. We need a door frame, and uh, we'll do, for now, we'll just do some regular wooden walls. And we'll make sure that our walls match the orientation of the boards. Yes, I know those don't stack. I, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. And then we'll go back to our standard crafting here. And I'm just looking for a nice door that we can use. I guess we'll just use this crap one. It's fine. It's really not very nice looking, but it'll work. It's okay. So we need to go outside here because, oh, look at that. It's snowing. It's snowing over here, and man, there's uh, something else I wanted to build over here, and I just keep forgetting to do it. How much fuel do we have in our generator, by the way? It's pretty good. Okay. So what I thought we would do, and man, this is, this is where things get a little bit wonky. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, we need to be able to place this guy. So I don't know if maybe we do something like this where we have essentially an airlock 
Well, I didn't do anywhere near enough walls, did I? I, I recognize that now. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, we didn't do enough walls. But since this is a little smaller than I thought it might be, uh, this might end up working out okay. Here, let's do that guy right there. And then I realize we don't have any any uh, ceilings, which we can take care of that with relative ease, because now we, we just plain don't have the correct number of anything, and that's fine. Let's go ahead and place this guy right here. And it looks like this is going to be probably the correct orientation is like that, so that we can get through it. And what this kind of does for us is it sets up... Yeah, I know, we don't have any power on it. I kind of figured that was the case. That was the joke, is that I was trying to use it anyway, even though it was not powered. I figured it would not work. Um, door. Why can I get... Can I get you to snap? Does that work? Eh, that works. It's good enough. So let's go turn this guy on. And we'll have to add a uh, ceiling tile to this. And then kind of obnoxious interacting with it but hey look at that just like that we are cleaned of rads that is super super cool i really genuinely like that that's a lot of fun we could use a floor tile and that would serve as a roof piece and i'm kind of okay with that um just because i don't know that i really want to put a big old peaked roof on top of this or anything that just seems like maybe that's not the look I'm going for. I don't know. I haven't figured this out. Although, getting it to snap in the right spot is easier said than done sometimes. Just because we have so many things in the way, and that's really all it's about, right? I guess that door looks okay. It's not great, but I'd like something with maybe a little color. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. So, there we go. Look at that. We got ourselves a little bit of an air gap place. Um, I really think we should probably extend it to be two frames worth, which means we need one more wall, if that's the case. So here, let's do that. We'll do one more wall, because then we can go that guy there. And then we also need one more floor. One more floor, please. Okay. I'm just kind of looking at this. This just feels a little cramped to me. Um, cooldown is in effect. Okay, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Okay, let's go ahead and take that. And with a little luck, we'll be able to... Nope, not that one. Pick it up. Or just leave it there. It's fine. Here, we'll pick up this guy. And then we're going to place another foundation. Do I not have snapping enabled? I should. There it is. I just wasn't aiming in the right spot. That was me, not you. And then where did that guy go? Let's place that... Um... I guess we'll place it right there. That's fine. It's kind of obnoxious with that vehicle in the way, though. Oh, look at you. Okay. Snap that guy into place right there. And I don't know if it's going to let me pick this up. I was a little worried it might not let me. Just because it was, you know, in a, a cooldown phase. But it doesn't look like that's going to be a problem. So place our lower tile. I didn't bother to see if that's going the same direction. I can't even tell right now. Yep, sure is. Perfect. Look at that. It's like I'm a pro and I've done this before. I mean, technically I have, just not with a decontamination station. So that gives us a little bit of an entrance right here so we can come through. We got a decontamination shower right there. <laughs> it is so good. Oh man, I am really jazzed about that. That is so good. Like really and truly, that's a lot of fun. That is such a cool thing. I don't even remember reading about that in the patch notes that it existed. Maybe it's been in the game for a long time and I've just never managed to find one. That that very well could be the case too. I don't even know. Kind of looking at this place going, I wonder if we should do a little more, like we should maybe do like a couple of stacked tables or we could do, I guess what we could do is here, we got one of these guys. Here, let's place one of you like, um, place one of you... Maybe this is the better spot is right here because this seems to get everyone's attention. I kind of want to make sure that we can get up to it if we need to, but that the zombies won't. Uh, maybe we can't. I mean, it's kind of ugly, but yes, we can get up here. I mean, you just got to kind of, you know, jump from the fence. That's fine. I think I'm okay with that. So we'll just go ahead and grab 
somewhere in here. I thought we had one. Maybe we don't. Oh, shoot. Did I take it out? All right, I got to go look in the, in the box. Hold on. I thought we'd picked up another turret somewhere along the way, but obviously not. So I don't know. I, I'm not sure what I'm thinking of then. I really I have no idea. That's, um, yeah, I don't even know. Let's go ahead and put this guy in place right here, though. We're going to put you um, maybe about right there. I think that'll be fine because it should spin on its own and it'll it'll acquire a target. Yeah, see, there it goes just fine. And as a matter of fact, just for the giggles, we're going to go ahead and test one out right now just to see what happens. I'm still sort of kind of messing around with finding what is the ideal placement of things. And I just haven't quite gotten that figured out yet. I think this will end up being okay, though, and it might even be worth it to place this guy up there, too. I mean, this whole this whole location isn't necessarily ideal anyway, so there's kind of that whole issue going on. Although I do kind of like having this little table here to, to jump up on, although if the zombies end up over here, that's going to be a real problem because both of these turrets are going to be an issue. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. It'll be a thing, right? Do we still have... I don't even know where I... which box you're in. Just for the giggles, let's go ahead and grab the Barret. Um, I don't know. I guess that'll fit in there. And we'll do that guy there. I know we don't really have anything for it right now, and I'm okay with that. We need to stop and check in a moment and see which turret is shooting. Oh, no. We got two of them shooting now. I can hear it. So let's go ahead and load that guy up. There we go. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, kind of standing in the way. Oh, yeah, see, maybe that wasn't a good call because now only one turret here is going to shoot at them. That's kind of annoying. I mean, it's fine. It's not that big a deal, but it's not as efficient as it had been. Okay, so, hey, look at that. There's some free 50 caliber rounds. Hmm, we got three bodies here. Yet yeah, round one, phase one, whatever, wave one, could be four. Where's the other body at? It must be over here. I see the blood. There's the blood. There's the blood. Man, there's a bunch of blood over there, too. All right, let's just bust this guy out just for the giggles. Uh, we don't have a scope for it. Oh. Did I not? I didn't put the magazine back in. Got it. Um... Uh, you know what, here, we'll save it for the boss, because this just feels like a waste on a bunch of regular Joes. Okay, guys, go ahead and do that. I don't know if we're going to do a lot more base expansion. There's part of me that wants to do that and just, you know, build a big custom thing. I've already kind of been there, done that, though, so it's like, I don't know, I mean, how much do we really want to get into that? Previous series kind of explored that because at the time, the modularity update was brand new, so that was a lot of fun testing that out. I just don't know if I want to get into that again. I really would like to clean up all of the detritus and other stuff in this place, but uh, thus far that has not worked out as I had hoped. Uh, I think I probably hit the fence there, is what happened. Dude teleported when he got when he stepped into the, the bear trap there. I'm going to go ahead and say that the Barrett is just fine. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a laptop. That's great. We'll take that. I mean, the rest of this stuff, I don't know. I'll, I'll meet you on the other side of this of this horde. I'm not quite sure why that turret isn't shooting. I mean, it, it's sometimes shooting, it sometimes isn't. But um, I don't know. It's one of those things that I just I haven't quite cracked the code on what it takes to get those oriented properly so that we can, you know, hit all the zombies with them. I mean, it's it's doing work in certain instances, but definitely not in all of them. So, I don't know, whatever, not a big deal. I should mention that one of the bosses dropped an extra magazine for the Barret. That's where that guy came from, in case you're curious about that. The rest of the stuff mostly has just been trash. That's all just going to be stuff to sell. There's, I don't know, like a couple suppressors, a mask, I don't know, just kind of your usual sort of generic stuff that drops every once in a while here and there, that sort of stuff. Let's go see what we got from the rest of these guys. Hey, there's some extra Barrett ammo. Look at that. Lots of 50 cal ammo. It's interesting that so much of that dropped, and I wonder if it's because we were using 
the Barrett because it's equipped. I, I don't know that things work that way, but just kind of one of those random thoughts. All right, so what do we get? We got ourselves a large coyote backpack here. It's kind of easier to just do it this way. So that guy's an eight by 10 versus a seven by 12. I mean, you can do some quick math. Eight by 10 is gonna be 80. Seven by 12 is gonna be 84. Still, that is not a bad backpack. That's, I think, the second best in the game is what that one is. Got ourselves another Colonel and another Exterminator. I should mention at some point I redid these backpacks just a touch. So I actually got rid of a backpack. Gosh, that's so big. It, it won't even actually fit now. That's hilarious. Will you fit right there? Oh, it won't even fit right there in here. Can I make this guy fit there so we can just... I don't know. I just think it's hilarious to have these backpacks. I'm a backpack collector. What can I say? I did get rid of a backpack, though, just so that we don't have as many uh, layers to dig through as we're trying to find stuff. I think these guys are probably good. Didn't really get hit there, which is nice. So we can come back in here. You know what we need in here? We need some light in here. We should add a light in there. Do we have any of those guys? I've been kind of ruthlessly selling everything and I don't think we can build a light. We definitely cannot build any lights. Oh, uh, you know what we could do? I don't know where they are. I could have sworn I put some lights on the walls out here. Maybe I, oh yeah, see? Let's take, uh, let's take that guy off and we'll just grab that. And there's another one over here. And we'll take that one off. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I can't see you. Where did you go? Did it land up here? I don't even know where it went. I don't think we're going to be able to get up there. That's, uh, that's kind of a pain in the butt now, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, man. All right. here. Uh, can I... What about if I do this? Can I... I'm going to have to kind of do this in stages because getting on top of the SUV itself is kind of a problem. All right. Here, let's move ourselves a little bit closer. Getting closer and closer. Closer to the heart or something. I don't even know how I did that. Okay. And then we should be able to make it up here. I don't even see the light. Where did it go? I guess it fell through or it's behind. Oh gosh, there it is. Do you see it? It's right up there. It's behind, uh, under rather, the, the awning. I don't think I can do anything about that. I mean, uh, like we need to be able to stand on this guy. All right, here. maybe if I get up yeah, here, just just give me a second. This is this is dumb. Oh my gosh, look at that. What a pain in the butt that was. Like, that was just... That was uncalled for is what that was. <laughs> I don't even know. Let's put this guy... We'll put one right up there, and we'll put another one right up there. And I think that'll... sort of provide some light. I think I would prefer maybe a little more... I don't know. What other sorts of lights can we craft? I don't even remember what we can do. Could do a ceiling light. That would actually be fine here. Let's do one of those and then we'll see if that works out because that's probably the better choice, really, is if we had one of these. And we can put this guy like right there. Oh yeah, that looks much better. That's nice right there. That 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 gives us some ambiance. I thought about putting windows in, but I didn't want, you know, people to stare at us when we're taking a shower, so you know didn't put windows in. It's fine, although I might have regrets about that later. I think we still probably need one more light on this side, although all of the light that's leaking through these windows should be sufficient. Okay, I think that is pretty good stuff right there. I don't know. I, I still kind of like the idea of doing a little more building, and if we did that, I think what I would want to do is build it on top of here. Now, that'll mean... Uh, you know, some stairs, some uh, ladders, I don't know, something to get up to the top. But I do kind of like the idea of that. And I just don't know if it's worth it at this point, because really, what are we going to do in here? I'm not sure what the answer to that question is. The only thing I can think of 
is to come in here every time I reload the game so I can pick this lock and we can get some free credits and money. I mean, like literally. That's free money right there, free credits, just like that. It's that simple. And yet uh, I try not to do that because it feels kind of cheaty to to do that a bunch. I don't know, or even to do it more than once. I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. I'll figure it out. For right now, I'm going to call this one good. We will rejoin on the next one. I wish I knew where. We'll figure that out when we get there. Catch that one, Tell and Thanks for watching. See you later.